Hey everyone, Bean and Bagel here. We are at A&W and we saw this beautiful thing, which is poutine. If you've never had poutine, it is french fries with gravy and fried cheese curds. So being that we're from the Midwest, we live in Minnesota, we're big cheese curd fans and we've both tried poutine before and I think we liked it, but we weren't like totally in love. We're just more of like, you know, cheese curd people. But um, I yeah. Think, I think the one that we had had mashed potatoes in it though, right? No, I don't think so. I remember mashed potatoes in the poutine that I had. So maybe I was with someone else. Maybe. Mm, not bad. Not bad. I feel like it's so hard with cheese curds because everything that we try doesn't compare to the state fair cheese curds that are available. But um, the gravy's got a decent flavor. It's not too bad. Um, but I'm not big on like the the breading on these cheese curds. The stuff's from Canada, right? Yeah, Patina's from Canada. Hmm. I like the cheese curds. <laughs> I like cheese curds, man. Mm -hmm. Cheese curds are good. Greg's in stealth mode today, as you can see. So let's call it when he's got his hood on. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think if cheese curds was in the Garden of Eden, <laughs> I would have struggled. But not with an apple. <laughs> Unless I was starving. That makes sense. But then it's like, well, did God put Adam and Eve in a garden and left them to starve with only an apple? Or, I don't know, that's probably a deeper question for <laughs> than for what we provide here on our channel. Right. <laughs> um, I'm not a big gravy fan. I like my potatoes just by themselves with seasoning and whatever, usually. But I, I don't hate gravy. I like them. I mean, I, I don't feel like they're the best thing I've ever had, mm -hmm. but they're kind of like middle of the road where it's like, yeah, if I was hungry and I wanted fries and cheese curds together, it's a good thing to get. Yeah. I'm actually semi impressed by the gravy. I feel like the gravy is a good, nice, nice savory, like gravy. Um, Fries are, you know, fine, they're fries, but for me, it's the cheese curds that fall a little short. Um, the breading just isn't super light and crispy, and then the cheese inside, it's not like that really melty, ooey gooey cheese. Um, it's kind of like stodgy or something, so rubbery. Um, but it still tastes good. Like, it's not that I wouldn't eat it. Hmm. Um, so it's not a bad, not a bad take as far as the fast food version of poutine, but, um, yeah, I think if you like gravy and cheese curds, you would like this. I mean, it's not something you see at fast food right. that often either, so that's another plus for it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Just to have the option to have poutine at a fast food place is kind of cool to me. Yeah, for sure. A&W, um, yeah long history with A&W. I mean, that's been around for a while. I remember when it was a drive up, you know, or a drive in or whatever you would call it, car hop. Yeah, first memory of a car hop, sitting in the car, mm -hmm. they put the food tray on your window, you know, mm -hmm. pretty cool. Especially in Michigan, because they'd have like car shows. You know, you see all these cool cars and stuff. Mm -hmm. People go to the drive in and with their fancy cars. That's cool. Yeah, but I don't know. Cheese curds is like one of those things that that's like peanut butter to me almost. Like it doesn't taste like peanut butter, obviously, <laughs> but you could put it on something and it's like, man, that really elevated it. <laughs> you know, that's like, how I feel about bacon. Like put bacon on anything or I that's don't know. true. That's Cheese. another one. I think that sometimes when I watch cooking shows and they knock. You know, this was a terrible dish. How could you not bring us a fancy, fancified, wonderful dish? <laughs> and I'm like thinking, 
man, they should have just threw bacon on top, or they mm -hmm. should have just put a cheese curd on top, or they should have just like put peanut butter in there. <laughs> and the judges would have like flipped the script and just been like, I would put this on my menu at my restaurant. <laughs> Anyway, it's it was, one of those things though makes everything better yeah just, so if you're feeling down have a cheese curd if you're feeling down don't <laughs> fix your problems cover them up with cheese curds mm -hmm. i want to keep eating it so i guess that's a good sign i think it's good you know i don't think it's i don't think it's anything that like I said before, I'm not like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing I've ever had. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you want just middle of the road. That's what fast food is, really, when you <laughs> think of fast food. Yeah, hopefully they'll keep this on the menu. Way to go, Canadians. I think people would like it. And I'm sure it'll do well around here since we're close to Canada, so. I ain't got no beef with Canada. <laughs> I love hockey, too, so. Mm -hmm. He does. Go Red Wings. So I know there's not tons of A&Ws around anymore, but if you have one by you, I think it's maybe worth the stop. a and is always worth a stop in my opinion, because I like, the, you know, the chili dogs and, I mean, root beer, man. Who doesn't think of A&W when you think of root beer? I mean, that's essentially, and I don't know the whole history of it, but is that where it came from? I don't know. I like to put her on the spot with those historical questions. <laughs> Greg thinks I'm like his walking like encyclopedia <laughs> and he'll just ask me stuff. I'm like, how am I supposed to know that? <laughs> but I guess because like sometimes I'll like sometimes know history of stuff. He like thinks I know everything. So. She knows a lot. She's pretty smart. <laughs> she kind of drags me along on a leash. It's <laughs> like, come on, Dumbo, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but there's probably some things that you do that for me or whatever <laughs> that's funny there's probably plenty of things that you drag me along on a leash for too that's true I'm pretty, i don't know so yeah technological type stuff probably i guess probably thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one yeah see you guys bye